guys, Dr. Katie, right here on Hey Doc with your health snippet. Guys, remember to smash the like button. We all know how important the like button is and do remember to subscribe. It will allow more people to come into contact with this important medical knowledge and help grow this health community known as Haydock. Now guys, I don't think I need to explain what erectile dysfunction is. Do I? Do I? Okay, for the small percentage of people who may not know what erectile dysfunction is, Basically, it is when a man's penis, or some call it the third leg, does not work properly in the heat of the action. Now, in order for us to understand how some of the natural remedies that I will talk about later on in this video actually work, it's important for us to get our heads around what actually happens during a normal erection. When a man becomes sexually stimulated, either through his thoughts and or actions, the body starts to release a chemical known as nitrous oxide. Nitric oxide, triggers the action of an enzyme and chemicals which activate an erection to happen through the relaxation of smooth muscle cells in the penis. The blood vessels become wider, allowing more blood to flow in through the central artery and further complex reactions that happen within the penis at that time stop blood from flowing out of the penis. So the biological principle behind maintaining an erection for a long time is that there has to be more blood flowing into the penis and less blood flowing out. And when it does flow out, eventually, it has to do so at a slower rate. Right, now that we've got this knowledge out of the way, it is easier for us to understand why the management of certain chronic diseases is the most effective way of managing erectile dysfunction naturally. As you get older as a man, not only does your body produce less of the male sex hormone known as testosterone, but certain chronic diseases that affect blood vessels may affect your ability to get an erection. So if these are not treated effectively, even pharmaceutical medications like Viagra may fail to work. By the way, before I start getting into some natural ways of managing erectile dysfunction naturally, I have a life-saving piece of information for all of you men. So do make sure you stick around to the very end to get that piece of information. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes are all conditions that affect the flow of blood through the vessels, including penile vessels. So with these conditions, the flow of blood through the penile vessels is slow and sluggish, but then very quickly drains out. However, when these conditions are well managed, the vessels are patent, compressible and healthy, so an erection can happen easily and also last for a long time. So, managing high blood pressure, high cholesterol and diabetes are always going to be your first port of call in managing erectile dysfunction naturally. The second way is the reversal of bad lifestyle habits such as smoking and drinking alcohol in excess. This is because these cause injury to the lining of the blood vessels, then leading to narrowing of these blood vessels. Then narrowing of these blood vessels by fatty deposits along the vessels. It's scripture time. The Bible verse I'd like to share with you all today is found in Psalm 55 verse 22. The word of God reads, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. In the scripture, it teaches us that Peace is possible even in the midst of the storm. David is pointing out that God will sustain you even though you are struggling. For each of us, we can face the storm of this life and find peace when we keep our eyes focused on God and on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be encouraged by this scripture today. Now, back 
to ways of managing erectile dysfunction naturally. Thirdly, we have a substance known as L-arginine, which is an amino acid that is found in nuts and certain seeds, as well as whole grain foods. Now, L-arginine is converted into nitric oxide when it gets into the body. And as we have previously seen, nitric oxide is important in the dilatation of the penile blood vessels, allowing more oxygen rich blood to flow through the penis and allowing an erection to happen easily and be maintained for a longer period of time. The final way is through medicinal plants such as maca and tong cat alley. These work by boosting the testosterone levels in the body which leads to the chain of reaction previously described that cause the dilatation of the vessels in the penis. These are also great at working on the mind to increase sexual desire. Now, thanks for sticking all the way through to this part of the video. Here's the life-saving information as promised. If you are a man who has suffered from a heart attack before, or you have been diagnosed with angina, you should have been given a GTN spray to spray under the tongue when you start to feel chest discomfort. And naturally, your doctor will tell you to use that spray if you start to feel uneasy. And during sexual activity, you start to feel chest pain. You must stop. But unlike what your doctor has told you to do, you must not use your GTN spray. That is if you have had to take Viagra or Silas um, or the generic of these medications in order to be sexually active. This is because if you take the GTN spray, there is a fatal interaction between GTN and Viagra or GTN and Silas. So you may experience a sudden cardiac arrest if you do that. So what you should do is stop sexual activity, sit down and call the ambulance service in your country. When they do arrive, it is imperative for you to tell them that you have just administered one of these drugs and so they should know not to give you any GTN. However, if for any reason they're not aware and they proceed to give you GTN, make sure you tell them that you will not be taking it for the reasons I've just explained. That's it guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful and do remember to smash the like button and to subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you on our next video. Take care.